It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 90. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, and welcome back to another special Friday Q&A episode of Optimal Health Daily. Normally, this is a podcast where I read to you from some super popular health and fitness blogs. But on Fridays, I answer your questions. If you want to send one in, it's really easy. Just visit oldpodcast.com and look for the red bar along the side that says, ask a health question. You can use your computer's microphone to record your question and do as many takes as you like. Or you can even use your cell phone. Again, just visit oldpodcast.com and I'd love to help you out. You can also call and leave a message. The number is 61 I love ohd And don't forget, we're doing small bonus giveaways for anyone that submits an audio question. You'll be entered into special raffles to win books and more. So, all the more reason to ask a question. Plus, I love helping you all out. Your questions are fantastic, so keep sending those in. And with that, let's begin the Q&A and start optimizing your life. Hi, Dr. Neil. It's Nikki. I just listened to your podcast about kombucha, and I was hoping you could do something similar related to apple cider vinegar. Upon a quick Google search, it seems like the benefits of apple cider vinegar are numerous, um, including weight loss management, preventing diabetes, boosting your immune system, helping with acne and helping with sinus problems. And I wanted to get your take on it. Is apple cider vinegar as good as what Google portrays it to be? And if so, what are the pros and cons of drinking apple cider vinegar daily? I haven't been asked about apple cider vinegar in a while, so I'm glad you asked this question, Nikki. Vinegar in its various forms has been used as a, quote, cure for many years and for a number of different ailments. More traditionally, vinegar is used to preserve food and used to add some flavor to foods. Now, apple cider vinegar has also become popular more recently because of studies linking its consumption to weight loss. Why might vinegar actually improve certain health conditions? Well, as I mentioned, vinegar has often been used to preserve or ferment foods. This fermentation process, especially when fermenting plant-based foods, think kimchi or fermented cabbage, leads to some beneficial compounds being produced like antioxidants and probiotics. Antioxidants are thought to be good for the body because they help destroy harmful compounds called free radicals. By destroying these free radicals, we reduce our risk for premature aging, certain forms of cancer, at least that's how the theory goes. Probiotics are experiencing lots of attention now because of their potential to help improve gut health. And recent research is even suggesting that probiotics may be useful in preventing diabetes. Apple cider vinegar is also thought to contain antioxidants and probiotics. The theory is that the apple portion of the vinegar helps to increase these beneficial effects since fruit is a great source of nutrients. But do vinegars, and apple cider vinegar in particular, have any health benefits? Well, as always, I like to look at the research. One of the most popular published studies on apple cider vinegar and weight loss was conducted in Japan. The researchers found that those who drank apple cider vinegar lost more weight than those that didn't. But the trouble is, and something that many of us don't realize, is once the study was over, the study participants gained all their weight back. So we really don't know if by just being in the study, folks were more motivated to lose weight, or whether there was something about the apple cider vinegar specifically that helped with their weight loss. There's also some research on apple cider vinegar's effect on blood sugar. This research seems more promising on the surface. Diabetes is basically having blood sugar that's too high. So if we can control it by consuming something that helps lower blood sugar, like apple cider vinegar potentially, this would be a great thing. The theory behind why apple cider vinegar may help reduce blood sugar is that it may block sugar from getting into your bloodstream. Now let me take a step back. Normally, whenever we eat or drink something other than water, the body converts some or all of that food into sugar. This sugar then goes into our bloodstream where it travels to our brain, our muscles, and our organs. Basically, places where it can be used for energy or get stored. If the sugar just stays in the bloodstream and never gets to our brain and our muscles, that often leads to more serious health problems. 
So again, if apple cider vinegar blocks sugar from getting into the bloodstream in the first place, this may help those with diabetes. But I should mention that using apple cider vinegar to lower blood sugar is still considered controversial. I would never recommend someone stop taking their diabetes medication just because they're drinking apple cider vinegar. We still need more studies to know whether it's truly beneficial. Also, because those that have diabetes for years and years often have kidney problems too, we want to be cautious because the acids in apple cider vinegar could put the kidneys under some stress. Now, what about the probiotics in apple cider vinegar? Well, it does have probiotics. The trouble is we have gazillions of probiotics in our intestines right now. This is great. These are helpful bacteria. They keep our guts nice and healthy. They do so by killing bad bacteria and help our immune systems in general. They also help keep us regular. When we consume foods that have probiotics, it's usually a very small amount in comparison, really only a fraction of what we find in our bodies. Plus, some of those good probiotic bacteria actually never make it to our intestines, sometimes because the food was poorly stored or poorly handled, and our body's natural digestion kind of breaks down and makes those probiotics inactive. So many scientists argue that unless you're taking a very large dose of probiotics, it may not really help improve health. So we can't say for sure that consuming apple cider vinegar will really help improve gut health or the immune system. Okay, so what about apple cider vinegar helping with sinus trouble, acne, and other health conditions? Well, there simply aren't enough credible data to show it will help with any of those. Now, something I have yet to discuss is the fact that you actually don't want to drink apple cider vinegar, or any vinegar for that matter, straight. It's way too acidic. So let's say you want to try this out and you want to start consuming some apple cider vinegar just to see what happens. First, most who recommend apple cider vinegar would say to buy the kind that looks cloudy and has that giant blob floating around in it. That odd-looking giant blob is like the tesseract of the apple cider vinegar or the cube if you're more of a Transformers fan. If you're totally lost because you're not as big of a nerd as I am, I'm basically trying to say that this giant blob is where all of the apple cider vinegar's power comes from. It's what contains those beneficial antioxidants and probiotics. So once you've purchased that cloudy apple cider vinegar, you want to drop one to two tablespoons of it into a tall glass of water, or about eight fluid ounces. Now, you don't want to drink this whole thing. You want to sip this mixture once or twice a day before meals. Now, what if you're not a fan of apple cider vinegar? Could you use other vinegars, like red wine vinegar, and have the same benefits? Yes. So to sum up, apple cider vinegar is not the miracle cure-all, but it probably won't harm you unless you have a specific pre-existing condition. If you decide incorporating vinegar into your diet's right for you, it can be an aspect of a nutritious and balanced diet. There's no need to go overboard and consume it more than twice a day, though. Remember, just like I always say, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Thank you again for the question, Nikki. I hope that helps. Don't forget, you're going to be entered into our small special raffles to win books every month. If you have a question that you'd like to send in, it's really easy and totally free to do it. Just come by oldpodcast.com and look for the Ask a Question button. From there, it'll walk you straight through the process. It's super simple. And again, we do special raffles for those of you that send in an audio question. So it's just a nice little bonus incentive to do that. You can also call and leave a message at 61 I love OHD. Either way works. And again, it's one of my favorite parts of this show. I love responding to your questions. It's basically like getting free personalized advice. So I highly recommend you do it. And don't forget, I always, to the best of my ability, tell you the truth. If you can believe it, that's another week of Optimal Health Daily in the books. I hope you have a great weekend. Most of you are probably looking forward to a short week next week if you're in the U.S. because of the Thanksgiving holiday. But I'll see you on Monday where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too 
and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.